Welcome back to Gunning Shot TV. This is Chris, and today I was going to talk about the Marlin 60. This is actually a rifle that was originally designed as the Marlin Model 99 in 1959. They eliminated the, uh, or they didn't eliminate, they added this scope rail on top of the receiver, and they went to a cheaper birch stock, and then came out with the Model 60. That was in 1960. From 1960 on, they pretty much made different variations of this under the Marlin brand, under the Glenfield brand, under some store brands for Sears and Roebuck, I believe, Montgomery Ward, Coast to Coast Hardware, Cotter and Company, True Value. You know, you'll see some, some different weird branded ones, but they all essentially have the same action. And the only real difference you'll see is there's there's some variations in the magazine tubes. Originally they came with a full length tube that went to the end of the barrel. Those were um, 18 shots. In the late 80s they lowered it to a 15 shot magazine. Um, to load it, you'll open this, pull out this brass tube. The inner, inner tube of the mag is brass to keep it from rusting to the steel tube on the outside of the magazine. You'll drop in your 15 rounds here, push it closed. Um, in 1985 they added a bolt hold open for the last round. So when you're shooting your 15 rounds after the last one, the bolt locks back. It's pretty convenient. So you can actually find some that had that full length 18 round tube magazine with this automatic bolt hold open. Those are pretty handy to have. Um, you can also manually lock the bolt open by pulling back on the bolt and pushing in on the little bolt handler handle here. To get it back open, you just pull out and it'll snap forward. It's got your traditional cross bolt safety. Um, the bolt hold open, hold open models have this little release down here. Um, all the Marlin 60s are made for 22 long rifle. They have what's called a micro groove rifling. Um, that was a Marlin invention from the 50s, 1953. Rather than use traditional deep you know, six groove rifling. Marlins use a very shallow rifling that's got 16 grooves. Now, the idea behind it is it doesn't deform the, the bullet as much in the barrel. So once the bullet leaves the barrel, it flies truer because it's not all chewed up and, and out around. So they're pretty accurate out of the box. They have a nice crown on them. The barrel's hard mounted into the receiver. So you might get a little more accuracy out of the box than let's say like a stock 1022. Drawback from a 1022 are it doesn't have you know a, a replaceable magazine. This tube mag will slow you down if you're trying to use it for something like an apple seed. Um, also, with the 1022, you can get any kind of parts for your 1022 that you'd like. You know, there's everything. Whereas aftermarket for a Marlin 60, you might be able to find a different stock. It's not really a whole lot you can do to these. They're not as easy to tinker with as a 1022. So, like I said, these are pretty good guns. You can probably find a used one for $100 or possibly even less if you look around. They weren't very expensive new. They're still sold new. I'm betting the price is somewhere around $150, $200 new. For my money, I would rather go with an older one. Uh, I, you know, if you can get it for half price and it's the same quality or better quality, a lot of the newer guns I've noticed have kind of dropped in quality. So I tend to buy used and save the money and get a better gun. But if you ever get a chance to find one cheap, I recommend picking up. These are great handy little rifles, fun to carry around. Um, occasionally you'll see some ornate ones with wildlife, you know, squirrels or stuff engraved on them. Those are really neat. They all have that gold uh, marlin trigger. But uh, all in all, a very great rifle. Had it had the, you know, quick change magazines and uh, then, you know, maybe a little bit easier to mod, I think it would be a serious competitor to the 1022, and before the 1022, this was probably the best selling 22 rifle, other than maybe I think the Nylon 66 was a pretty hot seller back in the day, too, because it was cheap. But uh, definitely worth checking out. They'll feed anything, they're pretty accurate, they run great. Um, honestly, I can't think of a whole lot of things bad to say about this gun. So if you, if you have one, you'll know what I'm talking about. But for Gun and Shot TV, this is Chris. I hope you learned a little something about the Marlin Model 60 or the Glenfield 60 or Glenfield, all the random numbers Glenfield used. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.